today. Climate change, one of the greatest global challenges ever to face humanity, requires unprecedented levels of cooperation among all the governments of the planet. For 66 years, ICAO has reliably fostered cooperation amongst its member states, which now number 190. It began on 7th December 1944, before the creation of the United Nations, with the signing in Chicago of the Convention on International Civil Aviation. The vision was for aviation to promote friendship and understanding among peoples of the world peace and prosperity based on equality of opportunity and to operate safely, regularly, efficiently and economically. The original vision has stood the test of time and in the 21st century has been translated into a vision of environmental protection. Through the years, states remained committed to turning that shared vision into a global reality through ICAO. Today, more than 26 million flights crisscross the skies of the world each year in near-perfect safety and security, bringing together families and friends, fostering and sustaining business relationships, and nourishing our global village. This safe, secure, and sustainable air transport system has been made possible by states having agreed upon some 10,000 technical and operational standards, including those related to the environment, and the seamless harmonized implementation of those standards around the world. On hundreds of agreements dealing with often extraordinarily complex issues, on assistance programs to help apply the rules and regulations all under the auspices of ICAO. States and industry are working together through ICAO to ensure the sustainability of aviation agreeing on stringent engine emission standards, effective operational measures, and comprehensive environmental policies through the ICAO process. New jet aircraft today are at least 70% more fuel efficient than their predecessors of the 1970s, and they are 75% quieter. State-of-the-art technology is producing even quieter, more efficient aircraft with reduced noise and emissions and these aircraft are being rapidly deployed into the operating fleet. Again, as a result of the states working together through ICAO, to reduce congestion in the skies, develop shorter and more energy efficient routes, share information and create a context for industry to contribute its vast expertise and experience, emissions are reduced. Over the past three years, ICAO has been particularly active in the field of international aviation and climate change. Between the 2007 and 2010 meetings of the Assembly, ICAO's sovereign body, which meets every three years, a progression of activities produced many important milestones that form the basis for a new Assembly agreement. At the high-level meeting on international aviation and climate change in October 2009, States that represent 93% of global commercial air traffic affirm their commitment to continue to improve efficiency and to address aviation emissions that contribute to climate change by working through ICAO. One month later, hosted by Brazil, the first ever ICAO conference on aviation and alternative fuels produced the Global Framework for Aviation Alternative Fuels a platform for sharing information on best practices and initiatives worldwide to develop and deploy sustainable alternative fuels for aviation. In October 2010, building on these achievements, the member states of ICAO adopted a robust and comprehensive assembly resolution to limit greenhouse gas emissions from international aviation. This historic resolution makes international aviation the first sector with a shared global commitment to environmental goals of increasing fuel efficiency and stabilizing its global CO2 emissions in the medium term. This resolution earned the support of the international community, the states and the industry. Accolades have been received from around the world. Clearly, international aviation is on a path to comprehensively address its carbon emissions and the commitment by the parties is strong. 
The resolution adopted by the 37th session of the ICAO Assembly reflects the determination of ICAO's member states to continue to play a leading role in the global efforts to address climate change by working through ICAO. Highlights of the resolution include Full endorsement of the global goal of 2% annual fuel efficiency improvement up to the year 2050. A medium-term global goal of stabilizing CO2 emissions from 2020. And further efforts to establish a long-term global goal for the sector. Development of a global CO2 standard for aircraft by 2013. Action to facilitate the development and deployment of sustainable alternative fuels for aviation. Development of a framework for market-based measures. De minimis provisions to minimize the burden on states with small contributions to global air traffic. Concrete steps to assist states to contribute to the global effort. Submission of states' action plans to ICAO, covering information on CO2 emissions reduction and assistance needs. The Assembly also decided to seek further progress and directed further work by ICAO, particularly in the implementation of medium-term goals, market-based measures, and the provision of technical and financial assistance to be considered at the 38th Assembly. The work program directs a progression of ICAO's work in climate change from policy setting to an implementation mode. Through the voluntary action plans, ICAO will monitor progress towards reaching the global goals and identify specific needs of states for the provision of technical and financial assistance. One of the most exciting and promising opportunities for reducing aviation's greenhouse gas emissions while improving local air quality is the use of sustainable alternative fuels. No longer a dream, these fuels are a technically proven solution for aviation. The focus is now on scaling up production and distribution, sustainably bringing the fuels to market in sufficient quantities at a reasonable price. States will determine through their action plans which of the available measures are the most appropriate based on local circumstances. They have many to choose from. Aircraft technologies, operational improvements, sustainable alternative fuels and economic instruments. There are many pieces to this aviation climate change puzzle. States, industries and other stakeholders must work together to consolidate and accelerate the progress already made by the aviation sector. ICAO is the global facilitator, providing a forum where states working with industry come together to find solutions to the challenges that face the international air transport sector consistently demonstrating its capacity to cooperate in facilitating global agreement towards internationally harmonized solutions, which will assure a sustainable aviation sector and a healthy planet for generations to come.